Hello, test one, two, test one, two. All right, we got audio. I know it's not the greatest. Please forgive me. Uh, this is my first time doing a setup in my living or er, in my kitchen like this. Uh, usually, I'm over uh, at my computer, but today we're going to be building a computer. So, how about that? So, today's build is going to be a Ryzen 7 3700X build. We're going to be using the Asus Tough X570 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. Uh, Ventus, M uh, MSI Ventus 2080 uh, non-super. Uh, we got the Ryzen chip right here. We have the Silvertone, <laughs> Silverstone 650 watt, 80 plus gold. We have the ROG Vengeance RGB Pro 2x8 gig kit. Uh, it's at 3200 megahertz. Uh, for storage, we have a oh, X... XGP uh, 256 gig kit. Uh, it's one of the cheaper sets on there, but it does have NAND flash at least, so we know it's going to last and it's going to be good. Uh, lastly, over here for storage, we have a 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda kit. Or not kit, it's its own, it's own singular. It's uh, 7200 RPM. And very last but not least, we have the Lian Lee Land Cool 205 in white. Uh, what's not going to be here today is the uh, Corsair H100i RGB Platinum, uh, 240mm AIO. Uh, that's still saying it's coming from Amazon UK. It's saying uh, June 1st, but I don't think it's going to actually be here by then. Uh, I've talked with uh, the person that this is going to be going to. Uh, we decided if we don't hear anything by this coming Friday, I'm going to try and source something else. Uh, it might not be white, which stinks, because we really want to have this thing uh, just decked out with as much white as possible. Hey, Crafty, how you doing, dude? Hopefully, uh, I know my audio is subpar at the moment. There isn't a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, I could have tried to get my uh, XLR over here and all of that, but that's going to be a hell of a lot of work with not a whole lot of space. So, that's where we're at at the moment. So, uh... Yeah, so here's all your stuff. <laughs> you got your uh, Ryzen 7, you got your 650 watt, you got your RAM, we got your uh, graphics card, you got your motherboard, you uh, got your, both your storage devices, and you got your case. So, like I said, sorry again. Uh, we've been talking back and forth about this, but that uh, AIO, it still hasn't changed any status online, so. We'll try and get that in as fast as possible, but like we agreed upon, we're going to see if we can't go ahead and uh, get you something else if we don't hear anything by this coming Friday. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's get this puppy up and running. Let's uh, do outside of the case first. That way we make sure everything loads up, it's running, we'll get signal. So, got to make some space now. You, 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 didn't, you didn't see that, did you? It's fine. Totally fine. If it's not fine, I'll replace it. But it's fine. That could take much bigger, more impactful hits than you know, a quarter inch drop. All right, so let's come over here. Let's get everything off to the side. All right, so now we got the motherboard here. Now again, sorry, this isn't the greatest angles and everything. I'm using a Logitech C920 or 22 or something. Uh, don't have a DSLR or anything to use. Stinks, but that's where we're at. Oh, I got the motherboard. What kind of cabling we got included here? Oh, we got your Wi-Fi. Don't personally recommend it if you're going to be gaming and stuff, but hey, some people have to. They don't really have a choice. Got your AIO cover. Or not AIO. We got the back cover for... For that, we got your SATA cables, got your M.2 standoffs. Actually, we're gonna need those. Are we gonna need? Yeah, we're gonna need those. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But for inside the box, we're gonna be building on top of the box first. This over here. IO shield, thank you, pro. IO shield. I knew there was an IO. There's just one letter in front. A. 
When I first built my PC, I didn't do testing outside the case. I went right into installing the case and stuff. I mean, I did the exact same thing, and I regretted it instantaneously. So uh, I've learned from those mistakes. Am I confident I could get this thing built and have it run first time? Yeah, but at the same time, you want to make sure that your uh, components all work. And it's much easier to build outside of the case and test than it is inside of the case. Because once I start going inside the case, I start cable managing almost instantaneously. And it's a really, really, it, it's a bummer to have all of that work have to be undone and then redone. All right, so we have our gate Asus Tough. I'm gonna be switching cameras here for a second, give you guys a better look at her. Bam. Get that out of the way. So we got the Asus Tough gaming, Wi-Fi. It's actually a pretty sick little board. I like it a lot. So let's turn down the light here. That is very bright. Oh, there we go. Got the nice IO or heat spreader on the bottom here so that way you don't have to look at if you have like a green PCB or something like that, it can get kind of gross. But yeah, there we go. Switch back over. Hey, at least I do have two cameras. I mean, come on. You That's pretty cool, right? I think it's cool. You get the different vantage points and everything. I don't have an overhead. Be dope. This is my kitchen. I can't have that. All right. Let's go ahead and lift you up. -y. Let's grab the knif. Go ahead and open up the CPU. Also, be very safe. Wait, no, he's better for the top end dot too. No, there's not. Uh, it's looking like there is a standoff in the way. Actually, let's get you guys that way. Oh, yeah, that's better. But yeah, there's a standoff right here. There's a capacitor right there. There's just no way to actually have it up there. I mean, it's not a big deal. Personally, I like to have the M.2 with the heat spreader on it anyways, especially if it's not uh, like a 4000 or 4 point PCIe 4.0 uh, with a integrated heat spreader already on it. But that is neither here nor there. We can put it on that second slot. It's not a big deal. I always hate opening these things up because I, like, I actually like to preserve the boxes and stuff. Ah, there we go. We didn't break it. No rippies. So we got our CPU. And for now, we're going to be using the stock uh, air cooler for the CPU. That's uh, the Wraith Stealth Prism. It's still a really good uh, air cooler. It's more than enough for this 3700X. But again, we want that white aesthetic, so in the future, uh, I'm going to be switching it out for an AIO. But nevertheless, it'll do the job. Let's make sure. Got our cables. Oh, they changed up. Uh, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, they changed up uh, how the uh, thermal paste looks on there. They, they changed up the design. It's pretty cool looking, actually. here. Bam. Alright, so now we got a Ryzen chip. Let's go ahead and install her. So how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're having a good time. Oh, has like a little info sheet in there now. AMD Ryzen Desktop 3000 series desktop processor contained in this package is compatible with all 500 series motherboards out of the box and compatible with 400 series motherboards when it compatible BIOS update has been installed. Hey, good thing we're using a 5000 series board. Or 500 series, not 5000. We're talking like 300 years in the future for 5000 series. Go ahead. Open this bad boy up. Being very, very careful. Alright, so this is a big thing. Never touch the pins. Ever. Don't do it. You touch the pins, you have a very good chance of breaking them. Granted, they, they are kind of tough. Don't get me wrong, but it's very easy to bend them, and you could potentially break one off, and then your CPU is done forever. So be very careful. So I'm going to grab by the IHS right here, and let's go ahead do the camera switcheroo. And now we're going to see here we have a tiny, tiny little focus, focus, focusing. Are we going to focus? 
All right, on the edge there, you can see there's that little, little tiny gold pin on the green there. And then there's usually a marking on the motherboard. Unfortunately, this time, not so much. I'm not seeing it. But either way, they all pretty much go the same way. Uh, effectively, you have some uh, writing right here. So you got the Ryzen logo and everything. It's going to go towards the top of the uh, of the socket. So, go ahead and switch back over here. See how we got Ryzen there. We've got the top of the socket here. You also can take a look. See how there's like a little. There's also a gold thing on the edge right here. Uh, there's actually like one less pin. Man, I really wish this was better. There's one less pin in that corner compared to the other side. And it actually reflects on the socket also, obviously, because there's not a pinhole there. So let's go ahead very carefully, very gently, let her kind of pressure fit down on in. Give her a little wiggle back and forth. We're good to go. She's, she's settled. Let's go ahead and take this arm down. It goes down and in. It's very slight. It's a big thing. Switch back over. All right, so now we have our CPU installed. Do we want to do the cooler now or later? I'm thinking one minute because I want to get the RGB installed. Looks like we're gonna have to cut this open again. Ram first. I know. I know. You can. Te it actually doesn't matter. You can do either one first. Uh, with this cooler being in slots two and uh, four, it really doesn't matter. There's more than enough space because the cooler is fat. It's not that big. I mean, it's sort of big. You can call it thick. It's not that big. And I gotta, I gotta remember to be careful with this thing. I sharpened it not too long ago. It's pretty sharp. All right, so got our RAM here, all nice and white. Mmm, looks delicious. What am I saying delicious? It's fucking RAM. It's a computer part. We don't eat computer parts. Let's go ahead and crack her open. switch back over here all right so you can see here we have some writing here where, where where am I at where am I at oh it's like right here focus focus there we go you see how there's little asterisks come on focus bitch see how there it says D dim b1 dim b2 dim a1 dim a2 those asterisks on this board mean those are the primary slots. So we're going to want to occupy those ones first. And if you want to upgrade your RAM in the future and have four slots, we can do that. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and put these little guys back here. Those are what help to retain the RAM in. And the back side here, they're just they're fixed. They're flush. You don't have to worry about them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a stick here. Maybe. One-handed. This is difficult. All right. So here we go. Got that white goodness. All right. So if you notice here, one side is a little bit longer than the other, and we're going to have to match that to on here to these two. So I'm going to go from inner to outer. Doesn't matter. You can do it however you want. So let's make sure here. Yep, it's looking like long and short are matched up. Make sure we get the PCB lined up. Now, this is gonna take a little bit of force. Don't worry about that. It's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be wedged in there pretty darn tight because it needs contact on both sides and we don't want the fallout during chipping or moving around or anything like that. So, equal pressure. It's gonna get a nice clicking sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but she's secure. Now, let's go ahead and throw the other one in. And click, click, boom. And yeah, they can wiggle left and right a little bit, but that's, that's not a big thing. You did hear the clamp? Awesome. May the force be with you. Actually, I got something for you in a minute here. I don't know if you saw it on uh, Discord or not, but I actually have Star Wars cookies for my birthday next Tuesday. It came in a little bit early. That's all right. Sweet. I'm kind of anal when it comes to keeping my workspace clean, so forgive me. We're going to take a little extra time to make sure that this place stays cleaned up because the rest of my house isn't. This actually took me forever to get cleaned up. 
Got that there, got this here. Now, do we want to do the cooler or do we want to do the M.2 first? It really, really, really doesn't matter, but I want to keep opening things. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and open it up. Once again, Captain Knifey, here we go. Oh, so nice. Take a look here. Oh shoot, it's actually got a little heat spreader that comes with it. Oh shit, that's actually cool. Check this out. Let's go here, switch over. Look, it's got, it's got a little heat spreader. Let's take a look. That's cool. You can put that on the bottom side, because I don't think there's a, yeah, there's nothing down there, so we're gonna throw it on the bottom side, help dissipate heat on the bottom half. Doesn't really matter, but you know, we could. But, all right, let's get a little Phillips head here. Start unscrewing a little bit. Actually, is it easier this way at all for you guys to see? Uh, it's still pretty shitty. Nah, we're gonna keep it at the bottom. I still wanna keep it hidden. I like to be sneaky. Since it's not going to be white or anything. I mean, it does kind of go with uh, the board and everything. There we go. Oh, shoot. We actually, do we actually have a standoff? Oh, no. That was for that. <laughs> oh, standoffy boys. There you are. Because it's got the logo on there and everything. I, I don't like it personally. If, pro if uh, Crafty wants to put it on later, he can. That's completely up to him. You can, it's, it's a very, very, very easy thing to do, even when the computer is built. Actually, I think it auto-recognizes, too, so you don't even have to worry about telling your computer to, which, to like go look for the drive in a different spot. It just does it. All right, so we got those boys right here. No, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to install these anyways right now, so they're there. You don't have to worry about it. One down, two, so it's going to be this boy right here, third one down. Nice, quick, little, tight guy. Just gonna throw it in there so that way we don't lose it later. Oh. Never, didn't happen. You didn't see it. You saw nothing. Let's get this little boy installed. Grab our drive. Without breaking it. Fuck that plastic stuff. All right. We'll go back here. All right, so you can see here that it's keyed. So you've got that little slot right there. And then also, I don't know if you can see all that well, that's keyed also. So we're gonna wanna go ahead, install it. So you hear a little press. Maybe, there we go. Then all those gold contacts are gone. You see it lines up perfectly right there. So now I need to take my little screw. So you're gonna set you guys down for a quick second. Sorry about that. I know it's black, I'm sorry. Hold on a minute. Hold on, you can do it, you can make it. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and install. Help if you guys could actually see. There's no need to get it crazy tight. Basically, just go, go until it doesn't move, nice and solid not moving we're good to go now we can install the cover again actually uh, yeah there's some uh, <sighs> nice little fuel action a little protective on it protectant oh yeah so on this one it's got a nice little notch right here it matches with the notch here on the motherboard I'll show you guys in a sec after I get it thrown on here oh, eh. I think, are we on? Are we good? I think we're close. Only way to find out, start screwing down. Oh, we're good. Just get it, just get it to the point where it's tight. That's all you need to worry about. Just get it tight. Oh, that, you didn't see nothing. Nothing happened. All right, it's nice and tight. You can see here. See, it's got that li nice little notchy boy. 
matches perfectly. Love when you see design choices like that. When it's those, it's those little things that make it, you know, make it great. Garbage. Okay. Now we'll throw you back in there. That way we don't lose you. Throw you in there so we don't lose you. Bada bing, bada boom. Maybe. And there. There we go. All right. So time for the cooler, I think. You pulled off. Make sure you're wrapped around. Got your pinky. Let's go ahead. Switch over. I'll show you. They changed the design finally. So it kind of looks like a Corsair design here. Kind of honeycomb. It's different. And I like it. Alright. So depending on the cooler, you would potentially could have to change out or should say take off these retainers right here. I don't know if you can see them all that well. I'll, I'll switch cameras in a second here. But in this case, with this cooler, we don't have to take them off. Uh, with those uh, smaller stealth ones, uh, you have to take them off. It's not a big deal. Just make sure that you put these back into the mother or motherboard box. That way you know for sure, is it going to work? Here's a better look at them. I'm sure most of you have seen them before. Eyes there. Huh. Why is there like lens flare? Are you seeing that? Why is there lens flare? But yeah, these guys right here. Just four little screws. Not a big deal. So we get to leave those on. Alright. So top of the motherboard, AMD. We got our mounts right here going to go with our uh, standoffs right there. Let's go ahead and make sure that that's unlocked. Let's get these lined up proper like. I always, I don't really like this style of reten retainer also. Kind of a bitch to work with. I feel like you have to put a lot of extra force. I don't like it. I hope the other side's not hooked in already. There we go. All right, now we can get this side going. Maybe. More light is better. There we go. Nice little clank. Take our lever, move it back over. Maybe. There we go. Now it's secure. We can actually pick up the entire motherboard from this now. Man, that thing was actually kind of difficult to get down there. I felt like I was going to snap it because... These plastic and metals are so thin, they're not very strong. I felt like I was going to snap it. And now we can do a little bit of cable management to figure out which one of these is our main CPU fan header. Looks like it's going to be the further left one here. So we're lucky enough to have uh, some printing over here. Granted, it would be nicer if they were right in front, but they don't really have the space. So CPU fan, optional, so one, two. CPU optional. We're going to be using the main one. Uh, on here, there's like two little uh, key. It's basically it's a keyed thing, so you can't put it in backwards and get the whole thing uh, get the power distri distribution messed up and blow up the thing. So that's really nice. It, they pretty much idiot proofed it. So let's go ahead and install her here. Bam! Now. Do we want to leave it with this thing here? No. We're just going to tuck her away. Tuck her away. Let's see if we can't get it kind of snaked back. Can't notice it at all. Actually, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Can't see shit. It's gone. Disappeared. Where'd it go? Oh, shit. It's there. It's right in there. It's all disappeared back. That's how we like it. Disappeared. All right. Uh, we got. We can do the RGB control via USB or by the ARGB headers. I really, really don't want to do it, but at the same time, it does look really nice. It'll help with the RGB aspect overall, and it's not really a big deal. So we're going to go with the ARGB method instead of using the USB. Yeah, we can just pull it right out. 
Man, this thing reminds me of like a... Has anybody ever had braces? This thing really reminds me of those r little rubber band things that they put in so that way you have to, it like helps extra like keep your jaw or whatever in place. That's what these things remind me of. Didn't buy a controller, right? In this case, I have one installed. Uh, no, uh, in this case, we're not gonna need a controller. There's not extra RGB lights or anything. And the H100i comes with an integrated one. So it's not a big deal. But there's also, we. There's uh, two RGB header, ARGB headers on here, so with only two fans, you can actually just plug them in right here and you don't, don't have to worry about it. So there's no need for a controller. And since this will be gone, it's gonna open this thing back up, so it really doesn't matter. All right, so we got the little one here. See? Yeah, it's easy. Okay. So. We got this little guy right here. He's gonna go into that little hole right there. Focus. Focus, you piece of crap. Yeah. He's gonna go into that little guy right there. Just make sure that over there, that way we can get the hole back in. It is keyed a certain way, so you don't really have to worry about it, but I still do. Uh, go to the bottom. Now we're here, maybe. Oh, what the heck? Oh, you're the four hole. <laughs> you go on the other side. Maybe? Hello? Let's get you in here. There we go. Nice and snoogly. Throw this little guy back in. We don't lose it. I mean, it's not a big deal. Nobody really gives a shit about these little guys, anyways. But I'm a stickler. I'm stick stickler. I'm a stickler. Stickler. All right. So now well, we got all this extra cord to worry about. Just gotta cable manage the absolute buck out of it. We got the positive. We got the negative. Got the positive, we got the negative. There we go. Get this kind of tucked back away down in here. Down in here. Bam. Cable manage. Take another look. I'm sorry, give me one sec. I gotta I gotta clean this thing off. I don't what the heck. Why is there that big old lens flare? still there what the heck but yeah so see we got it plugged in there this guy right here it's kind of got it snaked around through the ramp come back around and boom oh, there it is again bam 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 all right so we don't need to install the the two terabyte yet we can just to make sure that it's working and it registers now that i say that i kind of want to do it because I really don't want to install it and then have it be dead and can't return it, blah, 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 blah. So let's go ahead and crack her on open. Ah, fresh. Have you there. Grab one of our SATA cables. It's a two-pack. Doesn't really matter for right now. I'm just going to grab one. throw her on in. Again, this is a keyed thing. you got to be very careful with them. Normally, this little clippy boy goes to the top, and it'll be the same onto the motherboard. Ah, shit. Uh, we'll just throw it down here, I guess, then. Again, doesn't matter its position. It'll know. It'll read. It'll know. Alright, let's get the power supply out. Oh, hey, I don't have to cut it open. Nice! That guy. Ah. Don't want no waters to get inside there. Now, the stucky part about this one, it isn't modular. I personally don't really like non modulars, but at the same time, with how everything's going right now, it's still a good power supply. It's still 80 plus gold. It's still 650 watt. It's got more than enough power for this build. It'll be fine. 
and it comes with the case screws to secure it down. Let's go ahead. Get this back up out the way. Let's do it over here. Alright. That's tight. Yeah. Mm, garbage. Yeah, let's put it over here for now. Make sure. Yep, it's in the off position. O means off. I, for whatever it thing, reason, means on. Whatever. Let's go ahead, get this pre-installed. And before we actually plug it in, <laughs> it wasn't even done on the other side. Or did it break? Oh shit, it broke. It, it done brokey. <laughs> That's, that's fine though. It's completely fine. Doesn't matter. And the other thing is with this squid of cables, uh, the Landcool 205 has a nice big uh, uh, basement. So you're not going to see any of the excess cables. You're only going to see the ones that we're going to be using. And I'm still going to try my best to get them kind of hidden away. I don't know how well it's going to be with given it's a white case. I would like to do a set of white ca uh, cable extensions on this thing. And again, that's more money. And uh, crafty we can talk about that later again it's going to come down to timing and everything i mean is it really worth it do you want to deal with it all that good stuff all right we got our 24 pinner here oh god there's so many cables it's just 10 minute cables Get you oh y'all it's 20 plus 4 Got nice little clippy boys. Flip around, get her clicked down in. Get her clicked down in. Hello, maybe, yes. There we go. Uh, we got SATA for our singular drive. Again, this is keyed. You can actually uh, take a look at, uh, there's gold contacts down here. There's gold contacts in here if you're not sure. Just make sure that the gold contacts are set up so that they touch like that nice and firm uh, let's see here we need that's more SATA more SATA and my CPU yep CPU luckily it says it on here so this one unfortunately I believe only has a singular CPU PCIe PCIe yep yeah. so this has uh, 8 plus 4 for power delivery so uh, if you want to go up to 3900, 3950X, uh, it can. It's not really going to support overclocking all that well because it's not going to get the power that it wants. But it should still be pretty good. Uh, it, should, it would still run them both stock just fine, so you don't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and get our PCI. I'm sorry, our, yeah, our PCI power installed for that boy. Uh, I, you know what? I think I'm forgetting something. And I'm forgetting something kind of important. Oh, that's right, our graphics card. Bam! 2080, baby. Let's go ahead and get it cracked open here. It's actually, like, extremely well-priced. I think we picked this thing up for about 650 or so, maybe 670 after shipping, for a 2080 right now. Like, that's, that's an insane price. Like, people are spending $600 plus on 2070 Supers. Actually, I think probably even 2070s by now. So, and those are like used prices also that I think I've seen. So it's kind of crazy. Let's get that over there. MSR, MSR. Oh no, she's got green on her. I didn't account for the green. She's got green. Wow. Oh, look at that. Nice silver, black. Unfortunately, she got some green. Uh, we'll set the RGB for green for the time being. It's not a really big deal though. Make sure you get the contact cover off. All right, so another little thing here. So when we're installing this bad boy, gotta set this down for a second. Got this little tabby boy here. For when we're when we're installing, make sure that it's down. Uh, that's the lock that helps keep it in place. Now it's not like unbelievably ungodly strong so 
most of the weight is going to be supported by the cover back here. Uh, shoot, I can't, bro, I need help. I can't remember what this thing is called. The PCI slots? Oh, well, it's not PCI slots. It's, uh, shoot. I forget exactly what they're called. Right off the top of my head. This is live. So, uh, most of the weight's going to be supported here. Oh, shit. This actually has, this has a nice black plate on it, too. Wow. Fancy. And for 650. Alright, so we're going to line her up here. I know you guys can't see. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can't change up a little bit for you guys. Uh, we got the motherboard on the edge here, so that way the lip here doesn't head on the board and you're not going to be able to get full contact. So, I'm just going to go ahead, line her up here. Gee, I can let it rest real quick right here. It is PCIe slot. Yeah, PCIe sl slot cover. I'm not stupid. So we can see here we got the gold contacts. We want to make sure that we get that nice seated well, maybe. I'll put you down, right? I didn't put her down. She was not all the way down. See? Got to make sure she's all the way down. There we go. Nice little click. Now it's going to rest forward a little bit. Don't worry about it. It's not staying like this for long. It's literally just to make sure that everything's up and running. Looks like we got 8 plus 6 for power for this bad boy. Good thing we got... Ooh, we got a couple of daisy chains here, so we can just use one. We don't have to use both. So the two 6 plus 2s. Looks like this side. The shorty boy side. We got 8 here. And then we got 6 here. Man, now we got power. All right, so we got power there. Go ahead and plug this guy in over here. This is set to off. All right, so the Asus Tough Board does not come with a QI code reader. I don't have one of those little beepy boys uh, for it to, you know, the code indicators. So I'm gonna have to actually plug it into a really old crappy Dell workstation like uh, 19 inch monitor, not 19, like a 16, it's just fucking square. So, uh, let's go ahead, do I have enough cord? I got enough cord, I think. Roll around. I know I've disappeared, forgive me. But I need to, sorry for obstructing your view. Oh no! So it's, kind of, it's really gross, it's one of these boys. VGA, HDMI adapter. Oh, it's got a Type-C on here. That's cool. Plug it into HDMI. Sorry about shaky camera. My bad. Get it plugged in. Make sure this boy is on. Maybe. Hello? Yep, okay, she's on. Make sure I don't get my cable all stuck. All right, so now the problem is we don't have a power button. It's all right though, we can jump it. So over here, we have our front panel connectors and everything. And right over here, you can see we got HDD. Oh shit, I don't know if you guys are actually gonna be able to read it or not. Light. No, not with the light shining. All right, anyway, so we got hardware, we got our power switch right here, these top two. Oh no, it's not working. Might help if I turn on the power supply. Well, hey, see, we got, we got power from the motherboard going right now, so that means we should be able to dunk, short it, jump it, we're good to go. Now let's see if we can't get this thing to boot. I really don't want to hold this, but here we go. RGB goodness. So much RGB. Right now it's doing its power cycling. It's uh, turning the memory. Looks like we got a good little great. And oh, we got tough gaming. Now where'd you go? Bam. All right. It works. We're in. Looks like it's reading both. Reading both 16 gigs of memory. Both 16. Both. 
uh, both 2 by 8 so 2 8 gig sticks of memory. Alright, we can go ahead and shut her down. Bam. Oh no, she's dying, no! Oh, she died. Alright. Alright, so we did all that to get to this point to make sure that everything's working. Everything appears to be working, so now we can go ahead, move this stuff aside, and move on to the case. Oh boy. And I'm going to have to do something about my AC too. It's getting pretty darn warm. Alright, so I'm just going to start moving stuff up out the way. Move this. Just gonna just start removing all all Dynacaba. Just that way we can make room for the case. Case is big. It's cumbersome. Alright, that's all the cables. Can move you or what's off. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Still connected. Got boy over here. Got this little guy. I uh, hate this part, trying to get it just right. Bam. And then for shits and gigs so we don't lose it, we'll throw this bad boy back in. Throw you back in the box here. This way? No, it's this way. Put this back here. Put this back here. And then for the time being, the baby should go back here. Alright, do we have enough space? I think we have enough space. I'm actually going to take a quick drink. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to do something about my AC. And luckily, I have a smart device. So let's go ahead and turn the AC down a little bit. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. But I'm wearing a sweatshirt, and I don't feel like taking it off. Oh, we're set to 75. Oh, hell no. Set to cool. No wonder. <laughs> BIOS booted? Yeah. Oh, you missed it. Yeah, I uh, got into BIOS. It read the RAM, read the CPU, read the drives. We're good to go. So let's move on to <coughs> Lay Case. Let's go ahead and get her cut open here. Always make sure your knife is locked away. I have been stabby boyed away too many times. Alright. So. We got case. Go ahead. There. <laughs> Gotta work smarter, not harder. Casey boy. Herg. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Gotta give her a little hip and dip a shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casey boy. Sit her down nice and gentle like. Sit her down nice and gentle like. Oh, she pretty. This is my first white case I've ever built in. It's pretty nice. Ah, they didn't tighten that down all the way. Alright, so that has some black accents on here. It's like this top uh, metal filter is black. I kinda hope it was white, you know, keep going with the white theme. I mean, I guess it's all right, you know, it works. It does its job. Take the metal filter off. And then, take the front panel, huh? You know what, there's a slight color difference here. I know it's plastic, not metal. There's a slight color difference. I don't know if you guys could see that too well or not. But it is there's a definite I can see it on the monitor. There's there's definitely a color shift there. I mean it's not really noticeable, especially when you know when you got it all booted up and rolling and everything, but you know. 
kind of meh. I'm not really impressed by that. But alright. Let's go ahead and start. Oh boy. That one was in there. Did that just bounce inside? That just bounced inside. Actually, you're magnetic, right? No, you're not. What the fuck? Are these aluminum? Huh, alright then. Uh, where'd that other baggie go? You know what? Just throw them in here. It's alright. CPU cooler comes in handy again. So we're going to be taking all these boys out on the back here, except for these two here. Taking all these out. That way we can get access. Holy shnikes. Did freaking Thor put these in? Fudge. Holy cow, man. Thor, God of Thunder, freaking torquing these boys down extra hard. I'm not a quitter. It's just faster and easier. I know people got shit to do. I'm being considerate of your time. And yeah, my time. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Alright, so we can just go ahead and pull this boy straight up, up and out. I'm gonna throw this back into the box, maybe, somehow. There we go. Then the front also kind of slides out, maybe. There we go. Caught it. That's a close one. Threw you back in the box for safety. And here we go. We got a white ass case. Then all right, we got all the stuff in the back down here. And we're gonna have to move that boy on down. This little guy here. And then you just kind of pull on out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lenore. Well, it's in the bottom back, dude. I mean, that's exactly what's there for. And we're going to be utilizing it, so it's not a waste. I mean, can you just full-on take it off? Yeah. But it kind of goes against our purpose here. I just built in another version of you. Just come off. I literally have this one's twin button black sitting right here. It's what we're streaming on right now. What the buck? Why are you like wedged in so deeply? I don't want to bend the metal. I don't want to bend it. I don't want to do it. Ooh, you're missing it up. There we go. <laughs> proper pressure in the proper way. See, we didn't hurt it at all. It's still nice and pretty. No denty boys, no nothing. We good. We good. We got paperwork, don't need it. We got screwy boys. We got some sort of thingy. We got some cable management ties back here. Do we gonna need any of those screws? Oh yeah, we're gonna need those for that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need screws. Actually, I used all of mine in my last one. Actually really handy. Uh, we've got full ATX, so we can leave all those standoffs right where they're at. And we got all of our screwy boys and extra standoffs. And I think there's even a standoff tool in here. Is there? A little standy boy tool? Maybe not this one. Oh, yeah, that was that. Uh, actually, that was that super cheapo case I built in last week. So we'll leave that there. We'll throw you in the box. All right. So we've got a couple options here. 
Uh, a lot of people go ahead and throw in the uh, motherboard first. Can actually, I'm gonna remove this fan because I know it's gonna be a dookie to deal with. It's gonna be dookie to deal with. We can put in the IO cover right now, at least. So that's something. Come on. Come on now, Lenore. I don't know why I keep saying that. I sound like freaking Bill from King of the Hill. Come on. Come on, Lenore. Even though that sounds more like freaking Hank. Alright. Let's go ahead and do the IO shield. Get that crank down in here. Up in here. Alright, so in case you don't remember how they go in, you're going to want to match up your IO and the shield. So all these little guys right here are all these little holes right here. It's going to go in like this. And you're going to want to get her lined up. It's kind of a bear to deal with sometimes. I, that's why I really like integrated IO shields. Uh, just kind of press in. Make sure you get all sides, and we good. She in. Got an IO cover. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna put in the motherboard now. Mostly because I'm lazy, and I don't care. All right. So this is gonna be really, 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 really difficult to do. While filming. Alright, so we're going to want to make sure that we get her in here nice and square. We're going to want to line up those holes. Make sure they just kind of meet up. See if we can't see those standoffs. Yes, we can. Got all of them here. We are good. We got our eyes and lined up. That was first try, too. Holy hell. I'm getting better. <laughs> Alright, now we've got to screw in all these boys. Yep. There's a couple different sets in here. Uh, these ones are the super fine ones, just like our threads. Got some other ones that are a little bit looser. Uh, looser. Those are more for uh, replacements for uh, the PCIe covers in the back. To those devices. Now, it doesn't really matter where you start. Make sure, yeah, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a full ATX board. MATX, I think, is like six or something, and then ITX is like four. But every motherboard's different. That's why they usually include uh, little standoffy boys and a tool that way you can add or remove as you need. I think EITX or ATX E. I think that might be 12, because that's a wide boy. Then be wide boys. Let's see. 309 installed. No. That's why we use magnetic tip. Magnetic tip. Again, uh, make sure that you do not over tighten these things. If you do, you will likely have it strip into the standoff, and then you're going to be rotating the entire assembly, and you're boned. You're not getting it back out without damaging your motherboard at that point, and the case. So, no ooga doogas or nothing like that, just tight. Once it stops, you're pretty much good. Maybe, like, one quarter of an ooga. Absolutely no dooga. So, uh, uh, there we go, yeah, we're good. I think that's enough. that is definitely enough, just a uh, Make sure you go, uh, no, ugga dugga, just uh. Get this bad boy up in here. They can go wonky on you a little bit. So don't be afraid to just stop. They should just go in nice and smooth. 
If it's feeling like it's going in a little wonky, just back out, restart the thread. It's not a big deal. My cats are going crazy over there. Since I don't really have people over all that often, and I start talking a lot, since I'm not one of those crazy people to talk to my kitties, I don't do that, except when I'm yelling at them for being freaking idiots. Whenever I start talking a lot, it's, it's really annoying on work calls. Whenever I start talking a lot, they start going crazy because they're thinking, Oh God, there's something going on. Ah, is he leaving again? He's going on one of his trips. Oh Jesus, we're going to die. I think that's what they think. I don't know. I'm not a cat whisperer. And here comes screw numero nino. Yeah, you're being weird. Come on, just, just get in the hole. Just get it. Just get in the hole. I don't want to do it. There we go. Doesn't help that this thing's kind of... My screwdriver itself is kind of stripped at the end. I use this thing a hell of a lot. I, I really want to get one of those iFixit kits. God, one of those would be so cool. One of these days I'll actually splurge on myself. Because the thing is, I don't want just like the basic kit. I want like the big boy one. So that way I can actually work on multiple things. Not just like computers or anything like that. It'd be really cool to work on uh, you know, iPads, laptops, any of that kind of stuff. So having the full kit would be really, really nice. But alright, uh, that's all nine of our standoffs in. Stand off screws. So we got them all in there nice and tidy like. I don't know if you can even freaking see. Wow. Got all of our screws in. Oh god. Kitties! Please stop. You're screwing with the camera now. Got you boys in. Got them all in. Let's see how bad it is. Yep. Actually, you know what? That's not half bad, but now you can see my couch, and I don't want you to see my couch. My house isn't clean, y'all. And now my cord's messed up in my flip-flop. That's not cool. Kitty, I love you, but you're going crazy. You done gone crazy. All right. I think you can still see the couch. Ugga dugga. Here you can go ugga dugga. It's all right. You can you can ugga your duggas all day long. And now my cord is stuck on the PSU crap. How? How did you even? There we go. Oh, <sighs> well, it's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Okay. We now have that in. Let's throw the fan in. All right, so we're gonna have this boy exhausting. Uh, on the back here, these ribs, this is your standard PWM fan. Uh, ribbed on the back, open in the front, air intake and exhaust. So back means exhaust. It actually took me a really long time to learn that. I'm kind of ashamed of myself. Oh, and also, uh, this is a really good time to decide on where you want your pigtail to go. So we actually have a bit of space between the IO shield and the uh, tough gaming uh, cover here. So I think I might try to throw this guy at the top here to eat up more wire. And that way we can make it go down and over because we have a chassis fan header right next to the CPU. I think that's what we're going to do. Right, so let's just go ahead and throw this in here. Help this out. Get it going correctly. Correctly. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in here. This is why I like magnetic. Because you don't drop your stuff. Actually, let's leave a little bit of space. That way it's not at fully at the top, not fully at the bottom. It'll be a spot where it can actually breathe a little bit more if it needs to. Uh, most of the air is going to be forced out that way anyways, but uh, a little bit of extra airflow, top or bottom. Just going to help uh, keep, this, keep this thing 
cool down. I am half tempted to throw it at the top, especially since we have a 2080 in here. But that's why we're also waiting for the AIO because that's going to be put as exhaust at the top. And we're going to be able to uh, keep the CPU nice and cool and we're going to have ample airflow at that point. Actually, you know what? I might have... No, we want positive airflow, so I'm going to have them as intake at the top. So, yeah, we're going to have three in, one out, positive airflow. Just the way we like it. Oh, God. Why aren't you just going in? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Jeez, my freeze. I know you can't see. I'm sorry. This part's just really boring. Ignore it. It's not a big deal. It's just four screws going into the fan. It's, it's not a big deal. If you can't figure this out, you really shouldn't be touching the computer in the first place. Okay, we got the fan up there. Uh, do we want to worry about this screwing with this thing just yet? Yeah, screw it. We'll just plug it in. We're here. We're here. I know what you want me to say next, but I'm not going to because I'm not that type of person. Uh, chassis fan header. And tidy boy, the cable. Yeah, actually, you might be able to just nicely tuck up in there. We don't want to see no cables. Cables is the way of the devil. Now, I'm not going to be able to completely hide all the cables because that's literally impossible. There's no such thing as wireless electricity for these applications. There is wireless electricity, by the way. I saw a video from Austin Evans earlier where he was playing with a miniature Tesla coil and he had a LED light that had the diode or the bits of wire still on it and he was just getting it close. Like here's the here's the Tesla coil, here's the here's the little LED. It's getting close and it was brightening up. It was really cool. There is no way it is seventy one degrees right now. Okay, pro. See you in a minute. We're going to cool it down a little bit more. I'm going to step out away from everything and take a drink so that way, if I spill, it doesn't go on all the computer parts. Oh, that cold goodness. That cold, cold goodness. Alright. Actually, we got all. We don't need any more of these screws, so I'm going to put them in this little baggie so we don't lose them. Baggies save the world. The baggies save the world. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going crazy. All right, so we have the motherboard in. We have the fan. One of the fans plugged in. You're not really available. You do have to really available. That's the AIO. I'll plug it in up there. Hopefully that cord's long enough. We can get to the bottom for a second chassis. This should be long enough. Yeah, yeah, it should be long enough. All right, so at this time, so I know we're gonna need the space. We have four screws down here. Again, freaking Hercules, freaking torque these boys in. I'm just gonna loosen them up a bit. This is for the 3.5 inch hard, hard drive bay. Just gonna loosen them up a bit. Yar. And we're going to slide them forward because we're going to need all the space we can get to help hide those uh, power supply cables. Is that really all you're going to get? Ah, ha, ha, ha. A little more force. Uh, we can come back a little bit. Just a, just a, just a touch. All right, we got the drive bays pushed forward. Getting these boys nice and tight. There we go. All right. Now then, uh, we can do we can do the front panel connectors now. <coughs> uh, last time I built this case, though, getting the power supply in, I actually ended up having to fully like undo the front panel connectors, and I think they're still screwed up. So yeah, we're just gonna put throw in the power supply real quick. Got it screwed. And we'll worry about the rat's nest and all that stuff. We could start cable managing all that, and we can get those thrown in. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Luckily, this fan density wise is a lot smaller. It's a little bit more dense than the other one that I used. Oh, also, since this case, the basement right here is closed off, we want to make sure that the fan is on the bottom side so that way it gets fresh air in and exhaust out the back. It's also going to help a little bit with uh, any sort of heat potentially from the hard drives, the hard drive, but they don't produce any amount of heat that's actually meaningful in any sort of way. Let's go ahead and get this guy thrown in here. Let's throw you guys in. Just gotta squish him in. Gotta squish him in real good. Guys, as you guys can see. Uh, get you over here. Alright, so now you can kind of see we've got the holes lined up pretty well. Pretty, pretty, pretty well. Holes are nice and lined up. Just gotta screw, screw them in. Be good to give. Still got a tidy boy. Now, you guys might lose vision. I'm sorry. But I wanna at least get these started. Actually, you know what? I think I can just use my regular. No, it's gonna, it's a little bit too small. It's gonna strip. We don't want it to strip. Not yet. <laughs> Old man dad joke. You ain't supposed to strip yet. You're supposed to strip when you're older. Creepy uncle. There we go. Again, I'm sorry my hand is in the way. I know. There we go. Kind of see it starting going in. Get it nice and tight. Little baby ugga dugga. <coughs> oh, baby ugga dugga. Little baby ugga dugga. And finally, this one is still pretty. Still pretty far out there, and that's all right. Little ugga dugga, and then just check the last ones again. And I know you're seeing my hand. I'm sorry. I don't care. If I truly didn't care, I wouldn't say I'm sorry. Get this thing over here. And now you can see we have a rat's nest in the back. So many cables. What the hell are we gonna do with them all? I'm going to cable manage the hell out of them. That's what we're going to do. All right. Let's. All right. So we have our main CP, main computer power, the air motherboard power. Uh, your six, your SATA, your six. Molex. Why is Molex still a thing? It's such a horrible freaking power delivery method. Alright, and now get you all untangly bullied. Alright, we got our PCIe power, not PCIe, CPU power. Just gonna toss it up there for the moment. Got our motherboard power. Got our graphics card power. Again, I'm just throwing them in here for the time being. Uh, don't need you. You are actually going to go snake through. Snake you through the front. Got you there. And now the rest of this rat's nest can just get kind of bundled up and thrown in here. So we got our big boy here. Just get it all nice and kind of wadded up a bit. Scooty scrap you do. Alright. 
Now oh, then, Compresso Patronum. Then Wire Twisty away. Alright. Now we just kind of stuff around in here. Yeah, stuff it. Stuff around in here. There we go. Is it? Actually, you know what? Let's get this plugged in now. Let's move you over. And over. Am I going to be able to see? Actually, yeah, not a big deal. Let's kind of line her up and ka chow. And then, might as well do motherboard also over here. Give her a nice, quick, tight bend. Maybe. Hello. There we go. Clicked in, nice and tight. You know what? I'm going to move this. Move you up one. And we're going to move you down one. Durga durga. Yeah, that'll be better. Let's get you ugga dug it up on up here. Bam. Clicked. We're good. Oh, well, I guess since we're here already, uh, we could throw in the hard drive. We're already here. Forget you up front here. Got our hard drive. Make sure our connectors are towards the bendy bits here. Because they're going to go towards the front. It's just kind of power, pressure, whatever, fit in. There we go. And then... Oh no, I can't see. I can't see! I don't need to freaking see. We got a power here. You connecto patronum like a boss. Get you tucked back. And you know what? We're gonna use the other one. I like it better. You plugged in. Now this is kind of the sucky part, but I think it might be okay. I think we got space. Come out. Come out, it's fishy. You know what? I don't like that. I have to move you over. You know what? Just for safety of the cable. Can we do it that way? We can't go this way, right? And you know, don't go that way. Alright, I'll go the other way. Hey, Star Maiden, how you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Let's get this cracked over here. Maybe, hello? Oh, come on. Yard. There we go. Oh, you raided. Hey, thanks. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Sorry, I didn't... <laughs> I'm building a computer. I'm not fully paying attention to chat, I'm sorry. But thank you for that post, that raid for, appreciate it. Thank you for sending your community over, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, send me a message on Discord, I, we haven't talked in quite a while. It'd be nice to catch up with you. But let's go ahead and throw you on over. Let's throw you on over. And then, cha-cha! See, that's actually, that's not bad. That is not bad. Kind of want you up. Want you up. There's not really a cable management spot for that though. I'll figure it out in a, in a little while. Okay, we got the hard drive hooked up. We've got power to CPU. We got power to motherboard. Uh, other than cable management, all we have to really do is throw in that GPU and give her a startup test. Wait, no. <laughs> Got a little bit ahead of myself. We still need to do the front panel connectors. USB. Alright. I hate this part of the build. 
I uh, do not care for it, but luckily this power supply is much smaller, so I actually have room to work. It's kind of crazy awesome. Uh, where is the tree going? Oh, it's up here now? Okay. Okay. Let's get you. Plug you in, maybe? Hello? Hello? There we go. Thank you, Plucky Boy did. Alright, you want to step back? I'm thirsty, grab some more water. Excuse the ice crunch. Sorry about that. And already ready, ready. Alright, so now we need to do HD audio and stuff. I mean, I don't, I honestly don't know anybody that uses the front HD audio. And the last computer I did, I plugged it in. I, I just need to check it, honestly. It's probably fine. It didn't, it's not working. But. Are you HD audio? You know what? Perfect time for other camera. All right. Main reason why I'm using it right now, it has a light built in. I help if I point it right and you guys will be able to see. USB, USB, com. That's not it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, sweet. They're like right next to each other. Good job. So, it's these boys right here. That is actually super duper handy. All right. Now this is gonna suck, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta plug it in. Gotta plug them in. So we got our power switch, power LEDs, positive and negative power switch. I need light. Need light? Show me light. There we go. <laughs> it's just holding there on its own. Power LED. Power switch. Power LED. Why is that there? Uh... Wait, is that you? No, that's not you. Positive, negative. Positivity. Maybe. No, let's do negative first. It's easier. Maybe. I hate front panel connectors! The pain of my damn existence. Alright, there we go. And positive. And positive. I don't like these. I know, that's the speaker. Ah, oh, damn, you're over here on the left side. Shit. Uh, I thought it was here. It turns out it's over here. <laughs> if you look, it's keyed. It's keyed. It should be over here. And I tried to put this over here. It's not going to work. Alright, so we gotta pull this out a bit. Actually, let's get you snaked back down under. Ooh, what are you? What are you, strange sir? I found a random cable. What are you? I wish I wish to know what you are. Dead ass, like what are you? Holy shit. Oh, you're a daisy chain boy for a fan. Oh, okay. It looked like it was supposed to be part of the case IO stuff, but it's not. 
Okay, that's different. That's different. I can respect that. Now we got to fish all this crap back down. Grab you, pull you back over here. And then... Yeah. Install a Patronum! Ah, I like a glove. Then we gotta manage the cable. Manage the cables. Alright. So, here we have a quasi cable managed computer so far. Uh, still need to do the fan and gotta manage the back. Then I'm gonna need to do the graphics card last thing. So, let's do the fan real quick. Should be nice and simple and quick. Uh, I want to reach through, but I can't. <laughs> Can I see? I need better lights. Need better lighting. Can't see shit. If I turn these ones on, then it's even more washed out and it looks gross and bad. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all spinny. Throw you through here. Like a glove. I don't like that though. We're gonna throw you. Are we gonna have enough cable to do this though? Throw you through up here. I might have to rotate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rotate the fan. So let's do that. Alright, so to pull the front of the case off, grab by the bottom and pull. Nice and easy. Let's throw you over here. And then. Have another magnetic strip. See if if I rotate it, is that really going to be enough? I mean, at the worst case scenario, if I still have it'll it'll look better overall, right? I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just four screws. Oh damn it! I gotta take out the entire freaking thing. All right. This is why I don't like it. We got we got three screwy boys. Got one right here. One up here. I don't know, like all of my screws are like starting to get completely stripped up or screwdrivers. Screwdrivers. I need new screwdrivers. Anybody wants to donate like 20 bucks so I can go to Harbor Freight and get some better screwdrivers. That would be awesome. Alright. Now, lift up, pull out. Now, ooh, actually, you know what? I want to move this down one slot anyway, so that way we can get uh, more air towards the GPU since it's going to be kind of sitting here with like nothing in there. So, you know what? I made the right choice after all. Let's keep going. Man, I wish I had more hands. That way, if this will cool better. Unfortunately, we don't. I kind of want to cannibalize two of my 140s out of my case, but at the same time, I really don't. But I don't want them. But they're working. <laughs> <coughs> it's one of those situations. Uh, so, we want about an inch or so. Or so, that's somewhere in that in that range. Just gonna get these started, quasi, quasi strong. There we go. Cross pattern, cross cross pattern. Remember from your automotive days, always cross tighten lugs. That way you don't create a space and accidentally try to kill somebody. Just remember that, chat. 
you just remember it, you can save a life, including your own. Bugga dugga for days. Alright. Got the table. Let's see if we can get you. Bam, bam, thank you, man. Oh, so close. Need both sides. Need, need all, need all corners and all sides. All corners, all sides. There we go. And it's nice and above. Not gonna be blocking the fan at all, other than the front cover. Just throw. Really wish there was another spot. Yeah. Yeah, but would it would it work? Are you fed enough? You're not fed enough. And this is blocked. Huh? Uh ho ho. Uh ho 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 ho. Oh ho ho! We found spots. Oh ho ho! All right, let's get you over here. Oh hell yes! Look at that sneaky boy level, yo! It is like on par. Holy shit, sneaky boy level! Like, look at that. Other than this guy here. Still need to get that plugged in. That's actually looking like pretty good so far. I am proud of me. And we gotta worry about that guy too. It's not cable managed yet, but we're doing it as we go so that way there's less to do after. Alright. So. Will that be fine? Oh shit. Now I need to test. Oh, that's fine. Kinda. Uh, looks like I could do one of those. Alright, let's grab that. Just need to reroute just a little bit. We don't want to, like, destroy the cable. With all that extra pressure. There. Now it's now it's done proper. It's done correct. It's done the right way. Yeah, all right. Sweet. Let's throw the front back on. There we go. Wait, no. I need to do screws. We need to do the screws. The screws they loose. We can't have them loose, man. It, you know what? I need to get you guys some views. Oh, man. No! I need magnetic screwdrivers of multiple sizes. Someone, please save me. Someone donate like $20. Oh, jeez. Oh god. Oh jeez. Or if somebody wants to donate an iFixit kit, that would be greatly appreciated too. I'll probably end up getting one of those boys pretty soon. If I keep building computers like this. Man, how long have we been gone now? Holy shit, it's been an hour and a half? Wow. I usually do this in like half an hour. Oh <laughs> shit. Okay, streaming and building computers. It eats up time, holy cow. Like, literally, maybe 45 minutes. And that's me, like, not screwing around. And, like, testing, like, different airflow for different amount of fans. Dude, I thought this was literally going to take an hour. Holy shit. Okay, I mean, we're, like... 93% there. Like, literally, all we have to do is throw in the graphics card, cable manage, boot, make sure it's still good, turn off, put in the USB drive with Windows on it, and once it starts going, I'm ending the stream because that's gonna, it's really boring, it takes forever. 
and I might do a video uh, testing this after we get Windows and all my test punch stuff done. Holy shit, though, an hour and a half. All right, um, yeah, let's throw this thing back on. I mean, and I'm not, like, going very slow either. Like, I feel like I'm, feel like I'm moving at a decent pace, you know? I mean, granted, like, I did spend probably 10 minutes at the beginning, kind of, like, waiting for people to pop in here. Some kind of guess, I don't know. Okay. So over here. Oh, I need to. I don't know if you guys can see too well. Move this guy over. I need to remove some of these PCIe thingy boys. Uh, Alright, looks like we're going to be two and three for this slot. Damn it. Will you fit? I mean, you will fit if I do it this way. Thick boy problems. I mean, I don't care for it, but it's actually a pretty okay design. I mean, it works doing its job. Alright, so this is a dual slot cooler. We're only taking the two out. Uh, if we were doing other uh, PCIe stuff, we'd probably remove more of these guys. We're not, though. Alright. Got our graphics card. Let's go ahead. Get her lined up. I mean, we have spares, but I don't like using spares unless we actually have to, like in case something's broken. Get you out of the way. I mean, I'm probably going to be like pretty in the way, but I'm going to do my best. So you're still locked down. Just got to line everything up. Got, just got to line her up. Got to line her up, chat. There we go. Okay. Locked in. Good. That's looking decent. Okay, now we can throw these boys back in. Get them nice and tight. Uh, by the way, Crafty, when I ship this to you, I'm taking the graphics card back out because it can rip out during shipping. It's a very heavy card. I don't want to put that much pressure on the slot itself. It's a safety thing. I don't have that crazy expanding foam stuff that like NZXT and others use. Uh, we already discussed all that, I believe, though, anyways. Like, I just want to make sure that I get this to you in the best possible condition. And if you need help, I know, pretty sure Aiden can do that, no problem. Pretty sure. Alright, we got the lock on. Let's get some power. Let's, let's get some power going here, guys. Maybe? Hello? Was it you? Did you work? Okay, we got this going. Eight pin. Bop. Six pin. Bop. <coughs> oh, damn. Sorry. Dry throat. Stepping back away. Drinking. Oh, oh. Woo. I don't usually talk anywhere near this much. So my throat is very, very dry. Uh, we got this guy here. We got you. You can zip tie that down. But when I, you're gonna have to do this yourself, Crafty. 
uh, if you uh, really care about it all that much. Um, I'm going to do my best to make sure this little uh, two pinner guy here is like kind of tucked away. But uh, if you want to kind of fold these over and use like a zippy tie or something, uh, it help, it'll help with uh, the looks. But if you don't care, you don't care. That's, that's totally up to you. But okay, um, looks like everything's plugged in. Let's go ahead and uh, plug up the power and see if she boots up. Herp. We got the power. Who got the power? We got the power. Alright. Got Dinakaba. Oh, shoot. That's odd. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Alright. Got you plugged in. You're not screwing with anything. Alright. Let's test her. Got power to the motherboard. Fans are rolling. We got RGB. Do we have signal? Uh. Uh. We have signal. All right. Um. I need to grab keyboard and mouse. Actually. I can just do this. I'm not going to be able to transfer screens at the moment. Oh, shit. Um, I'll just get you down there for the moment. I'll figure something out with the camera in a minute. Uh -huh. Are you the wrong one? God damn it, you're the wrong one. Okay, um give me a quick second. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute so that way you guys don't like get your ears blowed. Okay, we're back. Oh shoot, am I dropping frames right now? Am I dropping frames? Right. Forgive my ugly trash stuff in the corner. I am sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and F7. Uh, let's see here. 3700X, speed 3600 megahertz, that's the base. Right. Let's go ahead and set the DLCP. Bam, straight to, yeah, same timings, everything, that's good. Set to 3200, that's good. Let's see how the if it's reading everything. Let's go ahead. So this is going to put the computer to be able to run at the megahertz, uh, the proper megahertz for the uh, RAM. So usually computers are just straight out of the box 2133 when they're DDR4 memory. All right, cool. So back up. Looks like it took. Did it take? I hate this tiny fucking screen. Why 
am I dropping so many frames? Stop dropping frames. Anyway, that's the computer build. Hopefully you guys... I forgot to fucking record. I didn't record this entire thing, so that means I'm going to have to pull it off Twitch to do stuff. Okay. Um, I guess for the time being, let's go ahead and power down. Go ahead and power back up. We have our USB device put in there. Uh, let's hit back over. We have our Windows 10 installation media installed. Looks like it's just going to start reading it instantly. That's good. Good. Seriously, why am I dropping that many frames? 10,000 frames. Right, is it is this like super choppy or anything? Because it is just dis frames are dropping like fucking crazy. We're almost at ten thousand drop frames. Holy shit! All right, uh, we'll do the key thing later. I'm gonna go with pro. Yeah, 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 we accept a Patronum, custom install. We want the little guy. So we know that's the NVMe. The, the 1863, that's the two terabyte drive. We don't want that one, that one's slow. That is no operating system. Normally I don't plug the hard drive in until after I do all this installation stuff, but whatever. If it screws up, I can do it again. But yeah, uh, we're installing Windows. I don't know if you guys can see all that well. Yeah, installing Windows. Let's switch back over. So here we have a Ryzen 7 3700X with an MSI Ventus 2080, two terabytes of a hard drive, two 56 gigs SSD, two by eight gig kit. Of course, our RGB Vengeance uh, at 3200 speed. Uh, if we had the AIO, it's the H100i Platinum from Corsair. Uh, it's RGB edition. That's what the I stands for, I think. Maybe, I don't know. But it also has RGB in the name, so who knows? But yeah, so we'll get that installed when it comes in, if it comes in. If it doesn't, uh, we'll figure something else out. But she's running, she's booted. I'll do some testing and stuff later offline here, and uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you in the next one.